All right, now this, this is going to show a basic principle of uh, all you need to graph. Uh, it's not that hard. You should be able to do it without a calculator. I would prefer that you could do it without a calculator. Um, in order to graph a function, all we need is either two points from it, and I showed you in the last video, you can get two points by doing the x and y intercept. That's a piece of cake. Or have a slope and one point. Okay. Now, we're going to always start our focus on the slope. Okay. In an earlier vid, or maybe this is the first one you've seen, the slope of any line, slope is always m, is rise over run. Okay. Well, if this is our graph, and we want to measure the slope from here to here, it's the same from here to here to here, it doesn't matter. What we're going to have to measure is the difference in height. Okay? And in order for us to do that, we take, like this is the y-axis, we take the y value of this point here, uh, y2, whatever it is, and we're going to subtract y1. For example, if this was 10 and this was 8, we'd have 10 minus 8, and then our difference right there would be 2. So we'd say the height was 2. Okay? That's just the idea behind it. What, how it looks in math, math writing, y2 minus y1 is the rise, and likewise the run will be x2 minus x1. This is our second x value. This is our first x value. This is our second y value. This is our first y value. And what these points correspond to here, there's a point there that is x1 comma y1. And this point here is x2 comma y2. Okay? All they are are just two regular old points. They could be your x-intercept, well, it doesn't matter. They're just two points, any points on this line. Okay? So if you have two points on the line, which is shown in another video, you can calculate slope to be a number. It's uh, quite simple. However, if you only have one point, this is where you need to watch. Instead of saying y2 minus y1, we just use our generic unknown point of, of y, subtract y1, and a generic unknown point of x, subtract x1. Now, x1 comma y1 is our point that we know. It's our first point that we know. So whatever it is, it'll be an actual number. Okay. So if we have b, slope in one point, this is what you start with. Remember, nothing brand new here. All this is is the slope formula, which you know already. Now, it becomes about figuring out how to put numbers into this and how to move equations around. I want you to watch something very carefully here. Why did I put that box on it? I don't know. We're going to maneuver our slope formula into something called point slope form. Okay? Well, I have m equals this, this. If I multiply both sides by the same thing, the equation stays equal. Watch. Cancels with this. Now I have, um, well, I'll put the y on the other side here. y minus y1 equals um, m x minus x1. It doesn't matter what order I put, if I put the m on either side. This, what you have here, is point slope form. If you get asked for something in point slope form, this is what they're looking for. Good to mark down in your notebook. Okay? Is it a big mystery? Do you have to memorize it? No. The reason is because you already know
you already know that this is slope. This is, this is in your mind already, for sure, and it makes sense because of what you've seen in the other videos. So all we've done is rearranged it. You need to memorize that. that is called point-slope form, though. Okay. The next question, the next video I'm going to show you is how to mess with this stuff and actually how to graph with it. This video is basically about understanding that you start with something you know, which is the equation for slope, and you, you play around with it and you end up with point slope form. And that's, if you have point slope form, you're, you're able to graph anything, slope in one point or uh, in two points, which is a little easier there. 